to the gentlelady from Ohio, Ms. Kaptur, who was a co-sponsor of the bill. Gentlelady is recognized for one for two minutes. I thank the uh, ranking member, uh, Mr. Bishop, for yielding, and thank the chairman, Mr. Gibbs, and obviously my colleague, Mr. Joyce, who just spoke. I rise in support, strong support, of H.R. 5764. Since the creation of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative, our nation has made great strides in reviving and protecting our nation's greatest freshwater treasure, our Great Lakes. Still, despite progress, this past summer presented a stark reminder of the unfinished challenge. As a toxic algal bloom shut off the fresh drinking water to over half a million people and businesses in Ohio and Michigan for three days across Lake Erie's western basin, the largest watershed in the entire Great Lakes, the public, though shocked, was orderly and beneficent. We didn't have riots or civil disorder. During that three-day crisis, astoundingly, we learned communities along the lake were not equipped locally to test the water so vital to their own survival. Two precious days were wasted sending and resending vials and samples five hours away to EPA labs and then back and then back again. This simply is unacceptable. Proper testing equipment on Lake Erie is fundamental. Fundamental to a response time commensurate with the challenge that remains before us. The Lake Erie community needs its own water testing equipment and certified lab. Already local universities and health departments have been assembling key components of necessary equipment for a certified lab. It is incumbent upon the GLRI to help us find a way to provide the remaining $147,000, not million, $147,000 we have to deliver. To date, the lack of response from our federal agencies is astounding. Lake Erie's water quality is an emergency due to the toxic algal blooms. When we see federal agencies diverting hundreds of millions of dollars abroad to, ga to dams in Afghanistan to deliver fresh water, yet somehow our own EPA can't identify funds to protect the American people. May I ask for an additional 30 seconds? A minute and a half. I thank the gentleman. Gentlemen, yields for a minute and a half, yes. Yet somehow the EPA can't identify the funds to protect the American people who live along Lake Erie and Michigan and draw their life source from it. I stand aghast. When our water crisis occurred, the U.S. EPA didn't even show up or have personnel on the ground. I asked, where's Homeland Security funding to help during the crisis and after? No show. As far as I'm concerned, they're asleep at the wheel. Wake up. As we prepare for a new spring thaw and the increasing rains that will come, feeding the algal blooms, the GLRI presents the hope that I still have that a solution can be found to counter the agency dithering that our region has experienced throughout this harrowing environmental crisis. Surely, America can do better. And I really thank the chairman, Mr. Gibbs, from the state of Ohio, my dear colleague, Mr. Joyce, from the state of Ohio. They live at the other end of the lake, but they get the problem. God bless you. And I thank the ranking member, Mr. Bishop, from the East Coast, who understands how important fresh water is to sustain life in this country. It shouldn't be this hard. Thank you so very much for this bill. I rise in strong support, and I yield my remaining time back to the gentleman. gentleman.